Hey guys, what's going on? In uh, this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can 5x your FPS. I'm not even lying. Uh, I'll show you guys proof right now from my latest video and a video I uploaded two months ago. Okay, as you can see, I literally increased my FPS like crazy. It's not even joking. So in this video, I will show you guys how you can do the same thing I did. All right, so what you want to do first is you want to download Lunar Client. Trust me, this is the only client you want to be using for FPS. Um, people say you can use Bad Lion, but the thing with Bad Lion is there's so many mods loaded. Like, I don't need my Skyblock fishing mod, bro. I just need frames. So if you care about Skyblock, get Bad Lion, but if you're a sweat like me and you want to max out your PC, then you get Lunar. Alright, so once you get Lunar, first what you want to do is you want to switch to 1.8 by clicking on this arrow, select 1.8, and you select. Next, what you want to do is you want to go to settings and see allocated memory. You want to allocate more memory. The default will be like 3, but you want more. So, um, I mean, but the thing is, if you don't have that much RAM, don't put too much memory. Um, you should put only half of, like, not more than half of your memory. So, if the amount allocated is greater than the amount you have left, then you're allocating too much RAM. Alright, so next we're gonna, uh, edit our Minecraft settings. So, I put my graphics on fast. Smooth lighting, Lunar Client has full bright. Smooth lighting only lags your game. Frame rate unlimited because we want that sexy a thousand frames, not even a hundred, man. A hundred's nothing. So, um, yeah, we want that a thousand frames. And, uh, yeah, also put your render distance to 17 far or like, so it can, like, this is mostly for Bed Wars, but you know how the Bed Wars map is like really big? Well, Let's say your render distance is like 8, right? Part of the Bed Wars map isn't loaded when you put your render distance at 8. So as you move around the Bed Wars map, it has, your computer has to like load in all those chunks, right? But since you put your render distance at 17, everything's pre-loaded, so it's really smooth. I don't know, that's just from my personal experience. And that's the reason you allocate more RAM, so then you can up your render distance without lagging or crashing your Minecraft. Okay, you want a GUI scale, you want a normal bounce, I don't know. Some people like, like bounce is like when you walk. Okay, I'll show you, so I'm walking, I'm like running right now, right? But my screen really isn't moving, but put bounce, then I get this really weird shaky thing. I don't really think it affects too much, but some people like it, some people don't. All right, you want VBO, so if you have a separate graphics card in your PC, you want to turn this on because it will literally boost your frames by a lot. Uh, it's just like a different rendering algorithm or whatever, I don't really know. You want alternate blocks off, that's just fancy, dynamic FOV off, dynamic lights off, shaders you want off, quality, let's see. Uh, I don't, they, they, they just, it's advisable not to mess with these two and uh, for all of these, turn it off, this is terrible. Custom fonts, custom colors. They're not really gonna affect too much. Connected textures, natural textures, turn those off. Custom sky, if you don't have this on, then your game will look terrible, so turn this on. Custom items, GUI uh, on, custom entity models off. Emissive textures, if I turn this off, it lags my, I crash. And if I try to edit the setting in the text file, my Lunar Client just won't open, so I just keep this on. But if you can, just turn this off, it's terrible. Uh, details, you want to make everything as ugly as possible, except the, except stars, turn stars on. Because if you don't have stars on, then your custom sky won't work. So what, so like, you know, there's a sky box, right? So when you look in the horizon, there's like this solid rectangle that cuts the sky. Well, this is what that is. So if you, so you want to turn this off, but the thing with custom skies is custom skies also show if you have stars on. And a tree just spawned right in front of me. Alright, cool. So you want stars on and uh, maybe capes too. Because if you have a cape, you, you obviously want to see capes. Sun, moon, fog off. Everything fast. Everything off. And um, yeah, it's all there is for details. And now we go to performance. So you want smooth FPS off. Uh, it says smooth FPS sounds like a good thing. But it's really terrible. Because what it does is it basically guarantees... Okay, okay. Thank you, Hypixel. But... But what Smooth FPS does is it guarantees like a certain frame rate constantly. 
But let's say that you're getting 100 frames per second. That's how much your computer can get. If you if you put smooth FPS on, then you'll only be getting 50 frames per second because that's how much your computer can guarantee. But you don't want that. You you want to go as high as you can. So turn off smooth FPS, smooth world. I don't really think this affects anything. Turn it off just in case. Fast render, you want this. Fast map, chunk updates, only one. Dynamic updates, yes. Render regions, yes. These are useful with VBOs, I'm pretty sure. And lazy chunk loading. And animations, I turn all of these off, but then I put my particles on decrease because I like the hit effect. So that's basically all there is. For oh wait, no, and one, more, one last thing. Yeah, you see your FOV? If you increase your FOV, then the game has to render more like screens. So you want to lower your FOV to as close as you can to normal uh, without it feeling too zoomed in. So then you can increase your frames. And uh, yeah, that's basically all you have to do for your Minecraft settings. And now we have to do the Lunar Client settings. Alright, so for your Lunar Client mods, don't overdo your mods. Just because you have like all these mods enabled, like combo counter. Do you really need a combo counter when you're bad at the game getting comboed instead of comboing? You don't need a combo counter. The most you'll combo is like 3 hits anyways. It's not cool. You don't need a clock. You liter There's literally a built-in clock in your computer already. Stopwatch. What, what, what are you going to do with a stopwatch? Memory usage. Heck, if you didn't even know what memory was before the, you watched this video, why would you need memory usage? Waypoints, crosshair, never use this. These crosshairs look ugly. Ping, this might be useful, but I don't really care much about it because my ping's always low. Reach display, nobody cares about your reach either. None of this matters. Turn all of this off. Keep the ones you want on, the, like the very important ones you want on. And then you have to go to this top option, settings. I didn't even know that you could go to settings, but um, this doesn't really matter too much. You have to go to performance, turn on Fulbright, um, and then you want all of these to be medium. I'm pretty sure one, one of these settings is like high by default or something. And, and you want to re remove shadows because who even cares about shadows, let's be real. And lastly, probably the most important thing, your texture pack. You want a 16x texture pack if you're going for frames. You don't want any of these silly 256x, oh my god, anime sky, no, 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 you don't want any of that. Because that will only decrease your frames. You want, you want it to be nice, but you also want high frames, so... Uh, I like Samifull and Nebula. Those two are my favorite 16x packs. I use those all the time. So, um, yeah. Alright, so now you've basically changed all your settings and you should have quadrupled your frames. Uh, if you didn't, I don't really know what to say. Maybe your computer just sucks, but... Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If this video helped, leave a like, subscribe, share, and, uh, yeah, this was just a good video. Goodbye.